Now I'm going to have to talk over this full speed fan right now. I have the fan manually set to, uh, okay, you can't really tell, but I unchecked auto, I took it to the very end, and then I clicked apply. And that's how loud it is. This thing is loud. Um, so I'm going to have to talk over it a little bit. But I want to show you guys something really neat. So I turned auto back on, and watch what's happening to the fan speed right now. It's going down by one percentage at a time. And if you listen to it, It's a very, very gradual progression in terms of the noise level. Now, it actually does the same thing when the fan speed is ramping up compared to previous cards from NVIDIA as well as from their competition. So NVIDIA has added what they're calling adaptive fan control, which is a way of saying that instead of the fan speed going from, you know, idle, so, so pretty much silent on almost every NVIDIA card for the last couple generations, to hmm, as soon as you start gaming, you'll actually see, like, look how gradual that ramp down is of the fan speed once the card realizes that it doesn't need the fan to go as high as it is. So uh, why don't we give you the opposite example really quick here, and I'm going to fire up Furmark in extreme burn mode and show you just what happens with that fan speed right there. Actually, here, to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and cover the intake of the fan with a piece of paper. So there, now you can see it's finally going up. So it's it stepped itself up 1 and then 2% and then 3%. 4, 5, 6. So this allows it to be a lot smarter about how much noise it's outputting depending on the amount of load on the GPU. So I personally think this is pretty cool because it means that you don't get that, uh, that obnoxious uh, uh, up and down movement of the fan. Like say you're, in a, you're playing a game where there's a certain intensive part and then there's a less intensive part and you hear the fan go or if it's at that borderline where it's uh, it's it's just like let's say the uh, the fan profile on the card is if it gets to 80 degrees then the fan ramps up to cool it down and then it cools it down to 75 but then it heats back up to 80 and then it and, and so you have that uh, that constant up and down up and down motion well this will make that kind of uh, well adaptive cooling almost unnoticeable unless you got your ear to the card so that's pretty darn cool So just for context, here's the same demo with the GTX 480. So I'm going to turn on auto fan control and boom, it's quiet. Okay, and then if I go ahead and do what I was doing before with the 580, turn on Furmark, cover up the fan, you're going to see that even though it shows that the, t the fan speed is going up, you know, one lone percentage at a time, here, I'll wait till it uh, starts going here, and I'll put the camera a little closer. You're going to be able to hear the fan ramp up really fast, kind of like a, a jet taking off. So contrast that with how slowly and smoothly the 580 fan ramps up and uh, you have yourself a very good reason for NVIDIA to implement their new adaptive fan control.